Hello tubers. Uh, as pointed out very aptly by Mr. Tab 6.7 on YouTube that the coefficient, the temperature coefficient for a lead acid battery is negative. So at um, lower temperatures the charge termination voltage should be higher and at higher temperatures it should be lower. So last night's test was somewhat invalidated. Um, we suspected that those small little leads that go inside here if you look inside there's two fine wires come off the PCB disappearing into this, this connector and I'd assume they'd be moulded into the wires and gone up to the obvious place for it would be in this this connector here, this uh, this linking connector but in actual fact I had a really close look at it and I've been <laughs> freezing the cable and by dunking this into a glass of cold water, a melting mixture of zero degrees Celsius, 32 Fahrenheit we managed to um, get quite a significant difference. So firstly, the thermistor is in the, the overmold at the end, this bit here. And secondly, um, I'm not gonna bother you with running the test utility again, because I'm fed up of it, I'm sure you are too. So let's just cut straight to the results, shall we? I'm gonna display them on the screen and you can have a look. But yeah, it does work. Uh, yes, yesterday's video was somewhat wrong, but I ran it twice again today and the termination voltages due to noise presumably do vary slightly but um, I guess I ought to run one at warm temperature again and do another result and I have to make sure the warm temperature compensation is working but have a look at your batteries have a look at these voltages and uh, let's cut to the the graph that was just just achieved literally a minute ago two minutes ago and let's review the results Yeah, if you want to hang on behind this section, then you can see the full test uh, because the profile is slightly different. You've got a longer tail on here, but here I've just taken the normal 22 degrees 12 volt lead acid test, which all these figures in black, these inflection points here, and then I've just done the test with uh, the charger in a glass of water, like you saw. And these are the voltages. So you can see for yourself that it um, does charge at a higher voltage and it terminates at 0.4 volts higher. So we're talking about 22 degrees, 0.4 is roughly 20 millivolts per degree Celsius, on, uh, so it's a negative temperature coefficient. So last night's test was indeterminate actually because I did get a slight difference. So if you're interested, I could run it at room temperature but this is what's happening at low temperature and um, I've got to get some work done. So there you have it. Um, yeah, just hang on to this if you want to watch the test. If not, then just subscribe at the, uh, to the subscribe button down in the bottom right corner if you're not subscribed. If you are subscribed, thank you. So hold on for the full and exciting test to be eaten. Okay, so the charger is dunked into a freezing glass of water at the end where the overmold in the end where the battery leads come out in which the thermostat is located, all right? So that's that. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna let this run. The, not much else to say. Uh, yeah, so the charge has been, the, uh, the test has been running for a while now. Um, it's gonna get to the interesting stage in a minute, so I've cut the rest out. Mm. The charger is pretty good, actually. It, it works fine. The temperature coefficient thing works fine. We did have a bit of a hiccup last night where um, I was a bit tired and I got the coefficient around the wrong way and then the battery charger did make a slight change in the actual termination voltages and I sort of assumed it was correct but someone pointed out to me that it wasn't and uh, so here's the final test going through with the charger dunked in a, the end of the charger um, where the overmold is in water, the rest of the charger isn't and um, we know the thermistor, thermistor is located inside that uh, rubber over mold at the end so anyway so here's a charge profile i'll put it on large for you and then um i'll leave you in peace thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that but carry on watching if you want to see the end of the the test